Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, one of these types of voice mods without GFscape or you know whatever to open up a file, a VPK file. Because all you really need is the uh, VPK file that's found in the bin folder of uh, Left 4 Dead 2. So as you can see we're going to be using the Pineapple Lords Deadpool voice pack redux. I'll leave a link to it in the description to this. So what you want to do for this to get it all started is you want to subscribe to this. Also, it uh, mentions about a listing number in the description, which can also just be found up uh, here, which is 7716366941. Um, another way you could find it is if you go into your files, there'll be a JPEG image, and then it should be of said image here. But on my computer, it doesn't show up anything. It just shows like default um, image folder. So now after this, you'd want to go down, find your mod, which usually whenever you install one, it should be down here. And now you want to unenable it, hit done, and then you want to go out to your computer menu. Now I apologize for the, how the quality of this next section is going to be. Okay, everyone, I am back. Um, sorry for me having to use my phone to screen record this. I'm an idiot and don't understand how to, like, actually uh, screen record my desktop from my computer. So I'm going to do this to the best of my ability. So now what you'd want to do while you're here is you want to go in your files. So then you'd want to go over to your uh, Windows. And now to program files 86, times 86. And then you want to find Steam, which is over there. Then go to, I think it's Steam Apps. Yes, Steam Apps. And then go to Common. Click on the game you want to mod. Well, or change whatever with. And then now to find your add-on, you want to go click on Left 4 Dead 2 again. And then go on Add-ons. Find the Workshop. Then you want to find your listing number, well, the mod you want to, you know, extract the VPK files out of. So that will be R77, yep, there it is. As you can see, I, I do already have this copied to my uh, thing, so as you can see it's the same number. Now normally, as you can see, there's a JPEG file here. Normally, apparently, an image is supposed to show up, but it's probably because I don't have it full screened or anything. So, yeah, what you want to do now is copy and paste it, then put it on your desktop or wherever you want to put it. So now what you want to do with this is you want to go back into your files. Probably should have just had that already all set up. But, um... Sorry about this. Okay, and then we go into we we just do the exact same thing we did before, except for instead of clicking on Left 4 Dead again, we click on bin when we're in the first Left 4 Dead. So now Steam Man. Oh. <laughs> so now we click on bin. So what you'll find is a VPK file here. Oh, well, VPK application, I should say. And then now what you want to do is. You could also make a copy to shortcut, which will make it a lot easier, which I probably honestly should have. So now, what you want to do is you want to grab your VBK, open with VPK, then you'll see all this do, and then you, you probably saw this folder show up, which is the folder read once. So what you do with that is you click on it, you go on, go on sound, player, survivor, Oh, if it works, sorry. Voice, and then you should see a folder called Gambler here. This is the folder we want. So you'll click on it, and then you'll see this is the modded one. As you click on this, you'll... And normally, it's just only adrenaline up here. It should be a Deadpool voice clip. May cause severe burns to retina. What's a retina? Okay. So now we want to click off of here. So we checked it. So now what you want to do after this is you want to go back to Left 4 Dead 2. Click on Left 4 Dead 2 again. We want to go to Sound. Now we want to go to Player, Survivor, 
voice. And now what we want to do now is replace the gambler file. Now I already have mine replaced with the Deadpool thing. But what you want to do beforehand is make a copy of the original as I have here. I named it a uh, OG so I, you know I know it's the original file before you can name it whatever or just name it gambler original so whatever works for you so as you can tell adrenaline shot here that's pretty it's the normal file so now we want to close off here so now what you want to do with all this tidbit of information is you'd want to copy out the mechanic, uh, not the, the gambler file out of the voicing, so you want to copy paste. I already uh, have this set up, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna go back to the game for more. Oh, yeah, yeah might as well. You'd want to delete this file and then replace it with the modded file. They should have the same, well, they have to have the same names to work, I'm sure. You guys know that. I just want to make sure to specify. I, I will now see you guys in the game. Okay. Now that we changed up the files, you want to go and put a console command. Now, if you're wondering about, like, me just deleting the whole folder thing, I don't think it's, like, too much of a problem. It could be. If you guys want to go and manually do it, I probably wouldn't recommend it because there is a lot. But from it looked like most of the f um, files were changed, so it should be fine, at least in that mod. Okay, so now what we want to do after having that all set up is we want to open up the console, which if you um, don't have that activated, it's quite easy. You just go on keyboard and mouse and then allow developer console. Sorry for anybody that already knew that. But um, now you want to do, what you want to do here is type in SMD rebuild audio cache. Which should you know just show up as soon as you are re basically, and now we want to submit, and you'll be taken to this loading screen. Now this takes a while, so I will be back after this finishes. Okay, now that the loading's finished, um, you should get the uh, command console to show up, and now what you'd want to do is press exit. Well, not press it, but type in exit and then hit enter. All right, I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, after your add-ons install or load in or whatever, uh, now what you'd want to do is load in a campaign. We will load in the center. I shall choose the character I've changed voices for to test out. And now let's start this game up. So, how are you guys doing? Um, the loading shouldn't take too long. I apologize if it does. But let me know. I think it should take around like 20 seconds, 10 seconds. So if you just want to skip, go ahead. Damn it! Five minutes too late. I forgot okay. how loud this game is. Nobody around here. Nice. Looks like he's heading to the mall. It ain't far. I can take you there. Okay. Well, I gotta get to the penthouse somehow. As you can tell, it's working right now. And if I uh, oh, I gotta cheat. Hey, hot tits! <laughs> All right. And um, so basically, it should be working now for you. Hopefully. I do believe if uh, the one thing, the rebuild audio cache cre creeps keeps crashing, you'd want to do update audio cache, but I'm not too sure I haven't, I mean you had it ever crash once, but after that it worked fine, but yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this tutorial, or guide, or whatever you want to call this, was helpful.